this experiment, we shall determine the specific heat capacity of copper using the electrical method. For this experiment, we require the following items. A stopwatch. A thermometer. The copper sample. The electric heater. Some wires to design the circuit. A variable resistor to vary the current. An ammeter and a voltmeter to measure current and voltage. A power supply to power up the circuit. And finally, some insulation we shall call lagging. The circuit shows that the ammeter is in series with the heater and the voltmeter is in parallel to the heater. We start the experiment by placing the heater inside the block and the thermometer inside the block and all together they go into the insulation. We record the initial temperature to be 15.5 degrees Celsius. And we now switch on the power supply and very quickly we choose a suitable current. And then we start this stopwatch. We hope that this time difference is very small. We record the initial voltage and the initial current on the voltmeter and we continue reading the voltage and the current every one minute. We can observe that the current and the voltage change with time. This occurs as the heater heats up. We keep on recording the readings for let's say six minutes and we know that the temperature increases with time.
When the time is up, we switch off the power supply and simultaneously we also stop the time. We will not record the temperature at this moment. We continue to observe the temperature so that we will record the highest temperature reached. This is because the heating energy generated by the heater has not yet reached the thermometer, therefore it is not yet recorded. So we keep on observing the thread on the thermometer rising up until it reaches the highest value and starts to drop again. We will then record that highest temperature reached. We note that the highest temperature reached is 47 degrees Celsius. We also observe that the temperature starts to drop again, so the highest temperature reached was 47 degrees Celsius. We record all the data in a table, voltage, current and time. We will now remove the block, the heater and the thermometer from the lagging and using a, an electronic balance we weigh the block we find the mass of the block to be 1005 grams or 1.005 kilograms. We now analyze the data by finding the average value for the voltage and the average value for the current, and we find the specific heat capacity to be 470 joule per kilogram per degree Celsius. We also find the percentage error to be 21% as compared to the true value of 390 joule per kilogram per degree Celsius. The possible sources of error are heat energy loss in the environment, there is some work done by the expanding solid, there is an increase in the internal energy of the wires and variable resistor, there is terrible contact problem between the copper and the thermometer and the copper and the heater. All these sources of error tend to make the specific heat capacity of the solid to be higher than the true value.